I know you're working hard for your state, but no matter how hard you're working, there's always time to call mom. She wants to hear from you. Just so you know. Yeah, I called mom. I called mom just before I came on the show. It's not what By she the said. way, she said I was her favorite. She never said Good that. news is she said you were her second favorite. Second favorite son, no. Christopher. Mr. Second favorite in the family. I can't believe you're lying to my audience. You've blown the credibility of the entire interview. I should have ended it before. Second favorite son. Oh, Listen to the words. Listen to Politicians the words. Politicians are very tricky. You throw a word yeah. in there after the first time you said it creates a lot of doubt. But I appreciate not me. you clarifying. Not it. me. Straight across the plate. Stay Straight strong. Straight across the plate. Stay strong. Stay for your people, and I appreciate you being here. I love you, brother. There's also tension among families. I mentioned uh, my mother, who is uh, numerically a senior citizen, although not uh, in, in her reality. Uh, I wanted her to stay home. I want her to be isolated. She's my mom. I want her protected. One of my siblings said, I want to take mom to my house and we're going to have a party at my house and I want her to see the kids, etc. I said, that's a mistake. You shouldn't do that. You should let mom stay home. I'm more protective. The sibling was saying, I want to take mom. She wants to get out of the apartment, exposed to the kids. I said, you don't know. All you need is one kid all day long. All I hear about is somebody coming up to me saying, I didn't know, but my daughter was with this person, blah, blah, blah. So I can even see the tensions in the families. I remember when my kids were young, I was divorced. My kids were three girls, uh, it was six, six and seven and eight years old. Six and seven and eight years old in a small apartment in Manhattan. Uh, that's a lot of fun. And then that gets old very fast, right? The claustrophobia just sets in. Sets in for the kids, would set in for me. What I would do then is I would go to my mother and father's apartment, which was also in Manhattan, because it was to get out of my apartment. And I would go to my mother and father's apartment. They had a little apartment in Manhattan. And my mother was magic with the girls, and she would play with them, and she could play with them all day, my mother. My mother's pure sugar. She's just pure love, my mother. Uh, but I'd be there for a couple of hours, and I'd be sitting there with my father. We'd sit on the couch, and we'd watch a ball game. And after a couple of hours, now the kids are running around, and the kids are picking up this, and they're picking up this, and they're picking up his picture frame. And, the, and my father said, put that down, put that down. Don't touch that. Don't touch this. After a couple of hours, my father would say, I think you have to go to work now, pal. <laughs> and I say, no, Dad, I don't, I don't have to go to work. <laughs> no, no, I think you have to go to work now, pal. <laughs> you know, uh, having all the kids in that tight environment, that's very stressful. Uh, that's why yesterday we said all the fees on all the parks are waived. Get out of the house, go to a state park. We have beautiful state parks. By the way, traffic is down. Put the kids in a car, go to a state park, go to a county park, go to city park, Shirley Chisholm Park in Brooklyn is beautiful. It's open, it's air, the weather's getting better. Spend the time with the kids.